Now last week we talked about reptiles with the worst bite and within that video I actually got a comment suggesting that I make a video on reptiles that bite the most. Which, by the way, if you guys didn't see that video, I'll put a little card somewhere over here. And I figured, you know, reptiles that bite the most, that could be pretty interesting. We can, uh, we can go branch on into this one, into next week's topic, which is today's video, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Yes, today we're going to be talking about reptiles that might not have the worst bite out there, but definitely are cantankerous, a little feisty, and mostly are going to nip probably a lot more than your average reptile. But with all that being said, I guess it's time to sit back, relax, dive into some feisty boys, and... Roll the intro! And kicking off this list, we're going to be starting with number five, the California king snake. I can't speak for all king snakes, mainly because of the fact I haven't really owned that many other species of king snakes. However, I have owned a couple of California king snakes, and the fact is, man. Have they just been nippy? I don't know what it is about the California king snake that makes it so much of a, uh, oh, what's the right word to use? Oh, a dick, because my god, are California king snakes just dicks, man? They're jerks. I don't know what it is. You open the enclosure, snap, snap, boom, pang, ting. That is what you get with the California king snake. Of course, the California king snake's my wife's eyes. I call her, call him Cotton Eye Joe. I call him that. Renee doesn't like when I call him that, but it's a one-eyed king snake. How could I not call it Cock and Eye Joe? Yeah, that snake is always on the mark. He's always striking. Whether you have food, whether you don't have food, cleaning enclosures a pain, trying to get him out, it's a pain, looking at him the wrong way, a pain. And what I mean by pain is a pain to you because he's gonna bite you. All right, moving on. <laughs> moving on, we still have quite a few more reptiles to talk about, and that is gonna bring us to number four, just arboreal snakes in general. Now, last time we talked about the emerald tree boa, how it has the longest teeth, or else some refer to as fangs, uh, mainly because arboreal nature and those bites really suck. And with the fact of that being, uh, they also tend to bite a lot. They're a bit nippy. They're um, obviously not the most friendliest snake out there. And although the teeth thing is not true with most arboreal snakes, the fact is that most arboreal snakes kind of have the same personality as the emerald tree boa. Now, I'm not 100% sure why this is. I think it's mainly because of the fact that tree boas are in the snake, or most tree snakes, arboreal snakes, or up in the trees. They're a little bit more shy, reclusive animals than your standard, let's just say, ball python. And I don't know, it sometimes means for some reason that they just want to bite the crap out of you. <laughs> Translation, if it lives in trees, it's gonna go for your knees. Yeah. I don't know, man. You show me an arboreal snake that isn't just a raging jerk. They got the ML tree boa, green tree python, Amazon tree boas, um, I'm, Mangrove snake or really any of the boegas, all of them. Cantankerous, feisty, nippy little things. I don't know why that is. That's not to say people don't love them. I obviously have a huge admiration for our arboreal snakes. Of course, with the boegas, you know your boy Dakota, man. He can't wait to get his hand on some boegas. But until then, we still got the animal tree ball. I absolutely love them. However, it's a challenge. It, it is a challenge going in their enclosure. Um, you're gonna take some bites. That's just the fact. You're gonna get bit. But moving on, we're gonna be talking about the reptile that probably bites absolutely the most. I don't know what's wrong with this animal, but my god, is it a terror to society. That is going to be number three. Hobbs the tegu. I'm not talking about tegus in general here, folks. I'm just talking about specifically my tegu. The tegu that I own is the tegu that bites the most. Um, my god. Now, this isn't the truth. M most cases, tegus are absolutely adorable. They're fine. They're like puppy dog tame. They're little dogs with scales. Uh, however, that's not the case with my tegu. In, in fact, we actually ran a, a survey, and in fact, tegus in general, the likelihood of them biting, it was 90%, right? But then you put Hobbs in the equation it actually drops it a full 20%. So now they are 70% likely not to bite. Hobbs brought that down 20% with how much of a dick he is. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what I don't know what's wrong with my tegu, man. I had to put that in there because my god, you can't you can't make a reptiles that bite the most and not put Hobbs the tegu in it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, Hobbs is definitely a danger to society, a danger that we need to stop. That's why I'm starting the movement here, folks. The reptile army with this movement. Uh, hey man, you actually can't use reptile army. Uh, Barcheck, sorry, got that URL. We uh, we can't use it. Oh, man. Um. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. That's why I'm starting the movement. The reptile. 
The Reptile, the Reptile Union. Yes, my brothers, join the Reptile Union today and get your merch. Look at this. Oh, very nice, very good. Well, what's on the back here? Oh, yes, that is very good. Very good shirt indeed. Is it cultural appropriation if we're both white? Am I gonna get canceled? All right, all right, enough screwing around. Let's get back to it. Number two, the Blood Python. Ah, blood pythons. They're mean, they're definitely not lean, but they are obviously biting machines. Blood pythons are just feisty snakes, man. I mean, I don't know what it is about these big, beefy boys. These things look like pork link sausages, and my god, are they feisty. Of course, the blood python being the heaviest snake in a body length to body weight ratio. Yes, I absolutely just made that up. These guys obviously have a reputation for just being little mean dudes. I mean, you think of the blood python, what do you think? They got the stereotype of being nasty, aggressive, and bitey little things. However, we're not here to enrich that stereotype, but, um... It, it's not a stereotype if it's true. I'm just gonna... Just gonna lay that out there. Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore the blood pythons. Definitely a snack I want to get into a little bit later on. The fact is they're just too big for me to get a Raxus in more enclosures. I'm just running out of space over here. But I absolutely love ball pythons, or blood pythons. But that's not gonna change the fact that they are known and are definitely super bitey. Definitely have to take a lot more precautions when handling blood pythons versus your average a snake. Uh, this isn't something like a ball python where you're just gonna reach in and grab it. I mean, I suppose you could reach in and grab it, but um, the results are definitely not going to be the same as it is with handling a ball python versus a blood python. You just go grab in there, uh, you might be coming out with one or less fingers. I'm just... <laughs> blood pythons! Beautiful, thick boys! Kind of bitey. Not, not the friendlies. However... They are a cakewalk compared to the last animal we are going to be talking about today. The animal that definitely bites the most and is just known for being one bitey boy. Let's get into it. As I probably already guessed, this reptile makes probably every one of my lists because I just can't get him out of my mind. And that is going to be number one, the Toke Gecko. Uh, oh my god, he's talking about Toke Geckos? <sighs> He's talking about Toke Geckos again, man? Jesus Christ. Listen, I don't make the rules. I wouldn't have put the Toke Gecko on this list if it wasn't warranted. I mean, come on. Name me a reptile out there that is more bitey than the Toke Gecko. Of course, I've been owning and breeding Toke Geckos for a couple of years now, and uh, my experience has been um, somewhat short of pleasant. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. He camper? Oh my god, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh! God, my hands will never be the same. Don't get me wrong, of course I have an absolute obsession with Toke Geckos. Owning to 20 myself, I mean, it's no wonder why my hands look the way they do. I got Toke Geckos galore, we got breeding Toke Geckos. Babies, adults, big adults, chunky boys. All of them with an agenda, and only one agenda alone, and that is to just mess up my hands as much as they can. I don't know what to tell you folks, I mean, and, uh, you put all the reptiles combined that we talked about, that is nothing compared to the feistiness of the Toke Gecko. These are a one-track mind, folks, and that one-track mind is violence. Just pure violence. And all right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today. But now it's your turn. Leave me a comment in the comment section. What was your favorite reptile that you think bites the most out of this list? Was it the Toke Gecko? Or perhaps it, it was... The Toke Gecko. Maybe I'm wrong with this list. Maybe there's a reptile that I forgot out there that actually is more bitey than some of the ones we talk about. If that's the case, also drop a comment. Hey, just spam, just spam, spam the word fuzz, fuzzy head in the comments. Yeah, do that. D drop a comment. Of course, if you guys haven't had enough of this top five video goodness, we got a couple more videos, man. We got a playlist right here with some of the best top fives. We got a couple awesome videos. Of course, right here is where you hit the subscribe button, where I, which I would really appreciate. I'd appreciate that very much. Maybe hit the like button too. That is going to be all, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Uh, deuces. Goodbye.